How much do you know about radiography? And do you know that we use more than just radiation? And that may be the reason why AI can't replace us anytime soon. Now, first of all, we need to understand the different titles in this radiography world. I'm a photographer who uses radiation, so I'm a radiographer. But nowadays, not all of the medical imaging equipments that we use are radiation-based. For example, ultrasound uses sound wave and MRI uses the magnetic field. So we also have a different name name, medical imaging technologist, just so that we can be a bit more inclusive of all the other imaging modalities. Radiologist is the doctor who make clinical diagnosis on the images. They have to go to a medical school, spend years of training in order to specialize in image interpretation. A radiographer cannot become a radiologist without going through the same process, which is going to a medical school. So basically, radiographer is a photographer who takes picture, but radiologist is the only one who can tell you what is in the picture. When people talk about x-ray, they are thinking about plain x-ray, where you put a body part on a board and then you press the button and the x-ray machine will snap the picture and show you a skeleton on the screen. But there are a lot more different forms of x-ray. So mammography is probably the other type of x-ray that you might have heard of, which is the imaging of the breast. That's what breast screen is all about. I have never done mammography, because I didn't have a chance to. Where I work, they don't offer mammography services. But my friends who did it, they actually love doing it. And some of them are even specialized in doing mammography and even advance their career by doing ultrasound breast as well. And we also do angiography and cath lab as well. So angiography is the x-ray imaging of the vessels and cath lab is the x-ray imaging of the heart. And they also do intervention as well if necessary. For example, like balloon down or curling of an aneurysm. So it is pretty cool. Okay, next we also do x-ray in theater. So we have an x-ray machine called Image Intensifier, which is catered for um, theater. So that machine is made to cater for the surgical table so we can take x-ray around the table in many different angles. So you can probably imagine we are always involved in the orthopedic surgeries. Like if the surgeon wants to check if the hip replacement is in the right place or they want to check the alignment of the fracture reduction, we are there to show them the outcome in the real time. And we also do something called fluoroscopy, which is another form of x-raying in real time. So there is a procedure called barium swallow, so we can see a patient swallowing in real time and we can check if there's any abnormality in the upper digestive system. It is pretty awesome to watch, but it's not fun for the patient because the barium tastes like concrete. I know because I have tried it before and yeah. Mm. <laughs> you just drank cement. And we also do something called portable x-ray, which means that x-ray machine is mobile. And portable x-ray is very important, especially now during the COVID pandemic, because you don't want a COVID positive patient to leave the isolation room in order to get a chest x-ray done. So we'll bring the machine to the isolation room and take a picture of the patient who is isolated. So we also have three other specialties. We've got CT, which is the 3D versions of x-rays, ultrasound, and the people who do ultrasound are called sonographers. And we also got MRI, which is the magnetic resonance imaging, which is what I'm specialized in now. If you want to know more about the career pathways of ultrasound and MRI, you can check out my other videos, which I will link at the end. So there are a lot of things that radiographers do, and this industry is evolving every year. Like 20 years ago, radiographers are still developing um, x-ray films with chemical in the dark room. But now um, we have digital x-ray and the x-ray can pop up on the screen in seconds. And I think 20 years ago, it could take 30 minutes to do a CT brain scan. And now it only takes five seconds. I have been working in radiography for eight years. I spent roughly four years in x-ray and then four years in MRI. And every day I am still learning something new. So I'm about to start uh, my cardiac MRI training, which is gonna be a steep learning curve for me, but it will be very challenging and fun. I don't think I'll ever get bored. And the reason why I say that our job cannot be done by AI yet is that we still need the human touch in radiography. So we can't be replaced by robots because we don't just radiate people on command. We make clinical decision to decide whether or not this x-ray is necessary for the patient. So we will look at an x-ray order. We will check the patient's clinical history and indication 
and decide whether or not this x-ray order is justified. That is, is this x-ray gonna answer the clinical question? Or maybe there's other imaging modalities like ultrasound or MRI that are more suitable to answer these clinical questions for the patient. We work on the principle of ALARA, which is as low as reasonably achievable. So we're not gonna radiate the patient if it's not gonna bring any clinical benefit to the patient. And I believe we still need a human brain to do all those correlations. 